some people complained about the type of concrete that was used in the earlier test, so here's a different kind of concrete. Let's see if we can find any um, bullet fragments. So obviously it blasted right through here. Brought a lot of material out the back side of that. Doesn't look like it passed through this one. See how it fits together there. Looks like this dent only made it in about a half inch or so. And then there's the other part. This. Looks like it just cracked it pretty good. I don't think it passed through. Doesn't look like it did a whole lot to this. There's a couple of good pieces right here. There's one there. Another one there. That concrete really grinds the bullet up. I wanted to get a sense of how much damage was making it through the block, so I put a water jug there. It doesn't give an empirical measurement of how much damage is getting through, but I think you can kind of see on the high speed what sort of damage would be done. like pretty much the same story. More bullet fragments though. I was like bowling. Okay. So it didn't crack. It didn't crack this one as much, so it probably didn't smack it quite as hard. Kind of an elongated crater there too. That would hurt a lot. Run your whole day. Can't really tell. Looks like it came out the backside too. Came, I'm thinking it came in there. A bunch of pieces came out the backside. Probably just as much concrete and rock as the bullet. Okay, that didn't look all that different than the earlier test. Everybody knows that 7.62 can penetrate most obstacles a little bit more deeply than 5.56. That is to say, if you lined up a series of wood boards or phone books or whatever, that the 7.62 would penetrate a few more inches than the 5.56.
except when it comes to armor type steel at really close range, but that's a different story. The bottom line is that yes, we know 7.62 can go a little bit more deeply, but in terms of pass fail, whether 7.62 or 5.56 can pass through a given object, I think we're gonna see a lot more of this sort of thing where either both rounds get through it or neither round gets through it. 